Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we are covering the top TikTok tips for t-shirt decorators. Now, TikTok can be a wild land of social media if you're just getting on the platform, but the truth of the matter is, we've seen so many small businesses grow exponentially because of their visibility on the platform. Now, TikTok isn't just for the kids doing silly dances. It could be a powerful marketing tool that is free to help your brand get exposure, new customers, and yeah, crush those sales too. So whether you're just getting started or maybe you've been scrolling for months or years, I'm not judging you, we're here to get your business some momentum and make a difference for your bottom line. So are you ready? Let's hit it. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already subscribed, we're kicking out new videos like this one every single week. All right, so the first tip right off the bat here is going to be sure that you have your business linked in your profile. You get one spot to put a link just kind of like Instagram or the old days of Instagram where you have one spot to put a link right on your profile. Make sure you are linking your business so that somebody could go directly to your business or your online shop or anything like that. Just make sure you have it linked. So number one, most important thing, if somebody likes your brand and wants to buy something, give them the avenue to do so. Now you could also call that out in your post too, like just shop at whatever the store is hey, check us out on transferexpress.com. Stuff like that you can mention, because a lot of times people are bouncing right over to their web browser or they're on a computer as they're scrolling and they're gonna search your brand out. Now the next tip is the most important, just don't get intimidated, right? Be authentic, be you, and just create genuine content for yourself. You can show off your products, what you do, the behind the scenes of creating designs or sketching and bringing the entire t-shirt to life or how you pack your orders, how you ship your orders, or even how you just start your day sitting down at your home office or walking into the shop. There's just so much stuff on TikTok that's a complete waste of time. So if you're showing the hustle behind being an entrepreneur or running a small business, you're already creating more valuable content than 90% of the stuff that's on TikTok. So just don't be scared, be you and people are going to see that. Now the other best thing that you could do for your posts is cue them up to trending music and sounds. You could find these by clicking on the ad sound and then looking at the TikTok viral category. You'd be surprised how much visibility a sound bite of a kid talking about how much he loves corn can bring your business. It's cold. So hopping on these trends is super easy and incorporating your products into them is a fun way that helps people who maybe otherwise wouldn't see your brand become your target audience. Now be sure you are including hashtags to tag your niche or the market or whoever you're going after as a customer. Are you making those cute dog lover t-shirts? Use hashtags about dogs and dog lovers or dog walks to get interest. TikTok is great because it actually shows you the popularity of each tag as you write it in the description. And that's cool stuff and puts the power of all of those analytic tools right at your fingertips. Next, curate your feed with pinned posts on your profile. So essentially what this lets you do is pick what videos are at the top of your profile. Think of someone just discovering you from a comment you left on somebody else's profile or interacting with somebody, or they're seeing your stuff for the first time in their feed, and then they click on you to go check out your profile to learn more about you. This is your opportunity to show the stuff that you want people to see first. So it should realistically explain what your business does or what products you offer or what do you do? Tell them. Now, most of the time you'll see that people choose their most popular videos that they've made, which makes it easy because now TikTok and its users have already identified this as good content as it's shown it a whole bunch and been the best content that you have. So showing people that right off the bat could easily lead to somebody following you and then eventually buying something from your store. Now for creating video themselves, we've found creating in the TikTok app works better than uploading videos from your camera roll or even editing videos on your computer and bringing them to TikTok. 
use all of those edit tools and the creator tools that are in the app itself to add music and captions, little emojis, GIFs, or even special effects. You watch a couple quick videos on YouTube or even on TikTok about how to create TikToks and how to edit TikToks, and you're gonna be a pro in no time. It's really not a learning curve. It's really kind of easy how they set everything up there in the app. Just play around with it and you might be able to figure it out in just a couple minutes. Now go find businesses or profiles that you think share some of the same audience with you and take note of what they're using in terms of sounds or effects or captions or how often they're using uh, little gifts or emojis or anything. Just pay attention to it and kind of analyze that if they're having success and take that as inspiration for yourself. Next, post consistently. Just like with any other social media platform, consistency and engagement reign supreme here. Comment, like, save videos, bookmark them, anything you see, and it's more likely that others are going to do the same for your posts and profile. You're not going to see success right away with tons of views. So don't think you're going viral on your first couple posts. But as long as you continue to post, you're going to see positive growth and those views really start rolling in. Some people say, depending on what you read around the internet, and it changes every single month, whether you should close the app for 30 minutes immediately after you post, or interact for 30 minutes after you post, or keep the app open for an hour just on your video on loop to spur more engagement, a lot of people are selling smoke and mirrors here, uh, as nobody really knows how the TikTok algorithm works. It changes a lot, but I will say it is not as volatile as it was, say, a year or two ago, with it being much less likely to go viral, but it totally still happens every single day. Now, if you're not creating posts, well, you don't have a chance. You're missing 100% of the shots that you don't take, right? as Wayne Gretzky or Michael Scott or Wayne Gretzky, Mike. No! The best advice is to just have fun with it, okay? That mentality is contagious, especially on a platform like TikTok. And if people see your brand as fun, they're much more likely to interact with it. So lean into what fits you best, be it on the creative side, the entrepreneur side, the financial side, whatever it is that you like the most. If you love it and you show videos of it, Odds are, it's what you're going to make the best content on. Be sure to subscribe here to the Transfer Express YouTube channel. Stay up to date on all of the helpful educational, instructional, and inspirational videos that we're posting every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing, or happy TikToking. I don't know. We'll see you there. Make sure you follow Transfer Express on TikTok, too, if you're still hanging out here at the end of the video. But, yeah. Okay. We'll see you guys. Happy pressing.